Okay, I will cover this. Oh, Lord Almighty, Shahid. Shahid spoke to one of my chapter meetings. He was uh, running in Nancy Pelosi's district. And he has made so many poor choices. I don't even know what to say. Like, we supported him. My chapter supported him. Um, Hungry Hungry Himbo is a non-binary individual who is an expatriate living in Japan. Wonderful follow. Great commentary. Goes a little bit into some topic that I'm not... I mean, I'm a little bit more modest. Let's be real. But, um... Shahid spoke at um, my chapter meeting, I think it was in 2019, and I had high hopes for him. Um, Jay Ponte was working on his campaign at the time. I was actually like recruiting volunteers for his campaign. And what came out is um, there was, I don't know if it's a smear campaign or not, but there was a smear campaign against him that he had... Um, Sort of, some sort of sexual allegations against him. I don't know that that was actually real. But what I did hear internally from people who were actually on his campaign is that he's a bit of a control freak and he doesn't listen to his staff. Oh, dear <laughs> Lord. Okay, so Hungry Hungry Himbo here has um, pointed out that Shahid is defending Dave Chappelle. And is aligning himself with the TERFs. And this is not surprising to me because he also had that super embarrassing um, protest. What was it like a year or a year or a year and a half ago in front of what they thought was Nancy Pelosi's house. And it turned out to not be Nancy Pelosi's house. Like she didn't own the house anymore. She had moved long ago and like there was other residents there. And the convo couch showed up and pasta was there in a chicken suit. And they um, did a rally in front of some random person's house. Harassing the entire neighborhood. And Nancy Pelosi didn't even have a claim to that property whatsoever. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right. So let's watch Shahid embarrass himself again. And by the way, just be aware that there is a different candidate running against Nancy Pelosi. You do have options. I met Shahid at the 2019 KDEM convention. We had a long conversation. Don and I had a long conversation with him. Don stupidly told him that he should go ahead and get on the shows of the Convo Couch and Lauren Steiner and everybody else. Don, you were fucked hard. Why are you directing these candidates to work with the worst of the dregs of our society? God damn you. I told him straight up he should avoid them. And clearly he took Don's advice, not mine. And he is now working with the absolute crap of the progressive movement and taking on a turf position. All right, here we go. Trans and bi and lesbian. So Dave says he appreciates the era of radical gay liberation activism. So that's the Stonewall riot gay folks. It's the Compton Cafeteria riot gay folks here in San Francisco. It's Harvey Milk and the legacy of that era that was about gay resistance, recognizing that gay and trans and bi and lesbian people were part of a marginalized class of people that included others and has concerns with the way that that community has been co-opted by a different style mode of activism that not only in Dave's view puts itself before other marginalized communities but in the context of my experience has also been willing to punch down using even racist smear campaigns against other communities to promote not the LGBT community's interests but the craven career interests of leaders within the LGBTQ community. So Dave says he appreciates Okay, Shad, you are an attorney. You have money. You're also really eccentric. You're a DJ. You like to go to Burning Man and shit. That's fine. I've been to Burning Man once now. But don't you fucking dare defend Dave Chappelle's transgender hate. Because that's what he has done over and over and over again. And it is no wonder that you cannot win that district.
It is no one. I mean, what the hell are you doing working with the convo couch? How is it that somebody who has aspirations of becoming part of the squad, becoming part of Congress, cannot see when they are working with hateful people? How is it that you cannot see this? How is it that you cannot see that you were defending a hateful comic who punches down? I mean, I, I'm sorry, but you're done, dude. I, you're definitely not going to be invited to any of my events anymore.